Hi everyone, welcome to another QGIS tutorial. Today we're going to cover a super useful GIS tool called Select by Location. It's one that I use a whole lot. Um, before we get into that, I want to put in one quick plug for a survey I have up on the YouTube channel right now. So if you go to the Open Source Options channel page and go to the Community Post page, there's a poll there that's just asking about what kinds of videos you want you want me to do. So if you have some time, if you don't mind going over there and just choose, selecting something in that poll, that would be great. It gives me an idea of the kind of content to produce to give you guys what you're looking for. All right, back to select by location. So let's go through the layers I have here real quick. So I've got stream order, which is the one you're used to. It's symbolized here just by segments. So each segment has a different symbology, uh, so we can tell them apart. And then I have this buffer here, which are these round edges. It's just a buffer of each segment. And it looks like we have some round things down here, but if I select this, oh, select on it here. If I select this, you can see that they're, they're just different segments um, that make those circles. And then I have this green area of interest, and I have this gray buffer, which is just a buffer around a single reach. Okay. And this is just to demonstrate what you can do with select by location. So you guys can get an idea of this and see when or what when it may be useful for you or when it may not be useful for you. So first, let's pull up the select by location tool, and I'll just start over here. But you can just search for it in the bottom by doing select by location, and then click enter on it. So we have um, really only four parameters to specify here. The first one is to select features from. So this is the layer that's going to get selected. So here I'm going to select stream order. And I don't want to select anything in stream order. And here's the, the selection I call it the selection method. Do you want to select things that intersect it, that, that it are contained within another layer, that are overlapping, that are touching, um, that are equal to, across it or within it? So things like that. Um, and then we're going to select the layer to compare. So we have the buffered layer here. And then do we, make, do we want to make a new selection, add to a current selection, um, select within the current selection, or remove from the current selection? And we'll just create a new selection. So to show you how this works, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the stream segment that's within um, this gray buffer here. So we've got stream order. I'm going to select this to the segment buffer. And I want to do are within the segment buffer. I'm going to turn off intersect. Okay, So this should select only features that are within this segment buffer. They should turn yellow. So let's go ahead and click run. And we will just go ahead and close that. And sure enough, I've got that one feature selected, the only one that's contained within the segment buffer. Okay, Simple enough. Um, let's go back to select by location here. And I'm just going to clear this selection first of all. And let's see what happens if I do intersect instead. So we'll change this back to stream order. We'll change this back to segment buffer. We'll do a new selection and we'll click run. So if I do intersect, you'll notice that I now have three reaches selected. So I've got the one that's within that segment buffer. And I also have, I'm actually going to turn this off to make it a little easier to see. I also have. Um, these two reaches selected, which are not within the second buffer. So, so that's a pretty easy thing to do, okay? Because it intersects that buffer. All right, so let's go ahead and clear that selection. And now we're going to turn off the segment buffer. We'll turn buffered back on. And let's work a little bit with this area of interest up here. Um, we'll say I have interest just in this area for, for one reason or another. And let's go back to, I'm um, sorry, select by location, I don't know what I'm doing here. Okay, and so we want to select, let's select features from buffered this time. From buffered that, let's see here. Let's just select the ones that are fully within uh, we've already done that one. Let's do anything that that touches the area of interest. Okay. 
we're going to create a new selection, so we'll click Run, Close, oh, and nothing it says touches that. So let's go ahead and try that one more time. I may have done something wrong. Select features from buffer, AOI. Let's just try intersect. Okay. You can select multiple of these. So let's do uh, intersect or overlap or touch. And let's click run, close. There you can see that we've selected all those features that are intersecting, overlapping, or touching this other feature. Pretty simple to do. Um, so anyway, those. That's the basic gist of, of how we do this. Uh, we can go back and, and we can do anything that is contained within it. You can take these selections, you can save them as a new feature. Um, really powerful tool. So that's how you can use Select by Location with QGIS. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. If you have other suggestions for videos, please let me know. Leave a comment. Um, I, I'd appreciate that. And once again, if you have time, fill out that poll on the Community Posts section of the Open Source Options YouTube page. Thanks, guys. Have a great day.